Uh, I just recently returned from two trips to China over the last six weeks. Uh, I've crisscrossed the country. I've been in Shenzhen, Hangzhou, Beijing, Shanghai, and Shenyang. Uh, the threats regarding uh, China are very real, as well as the significant opportunities. I spent five and a half years working in Guangzhou with Procter & Gamble, so I very much understand and see the balance and the understanding of tremendous opportunities for American companies, for American farmers and ranchers, as well as the threats. I think it's very important as we engage in these negotiations. Uh, we can't just see this as a standard trade dispute with China. We must keep in mind of China's long-term strategic approach and their long-term goal of becoming the world's superpower militarily and economically. My question is, how will you seek to balance the importance of increasing U.S. exports in ag and energy in the immediate future, which I applaud, versus the longer-term threat of China's forced technology transfers, their military investments, their outright theft, and their incredibly fast developing innovation ecosystem. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Senator, I, th I think as you're aware of, President Trump has been more aggressive than any previous president ever on dealing with the China trade issue. And that's why we ended up with uh, proposed $150 billion of, of tariffs and a 301 report. Um, it's because of those issues we've had a series of intense negotiations that are a framework. Uh, I, I can assure you that we're not looking at uh, short-term gains. What we're looking at is creating opportunities for U.S. workers and, and U.S. companies to compete fairly there on a level playing field and to make sure that uh, U.S. intellectual property and uh, is, is, is in technology is protected. So that's, that's absolutely the president's desire. So I've been, I've been actively engaged uh, for a long time and very specifically on the ground in China in areas of biotechnology, quantum computing, artificial intelligence, avionics. Uh, a very specific question, Secretary Mnuchin. Will you reject any trade proposals with China that would loosen or weaken existing restrictions on the export or transfer of U.S. military technologies and the advanced dual-use technologies because of the military-civilian fusion there is, as they think about things over there, jet engines, semiconductors, or helicopter technologies? Yeah, I would say that that's absolutely not, export control items for are, are absolutely not on the table for discussions. We would in no way look to loosen that, and quite the contrary, I think we're aggressively looking at uh, whether it's through CFIUS with Firmor or other means, the President has instructed me to review, protecting those technologies. So uh, I could assure you this President is, is very focused on, as I've said, protecting American technology. 